Guys, 16 has been out for a minute, so I um, just want to show you uh, proper steps to unlocking any Pixel running 16 and below. Um, this 7 Pro uh, I've been using the last few days. I just updated to 16. This one is locked to uh, Verizon, but I'm currently using it on T-Mobile. So I'll show you in a second here. So uh, 16, current uptime, uh, it's just after the fresh update. And then 7 Pro. So uh, let me do a quick reset on this to um, just show you the steps to getting it unlocked. And I'll also show you that it is factory locked as well. So um, give me a minute. Let me reset it. Before I do the update, just want to show you that this is currently the, the June 5 update. So most recent update that came out about 10 days ago. Um, so let's go ahead and do a reset now. Okay, I'll be right back with you once this completes. Okay, so we're back up here. Let me just skip through, see if we can trigger the, the lock real quick. Just wanna show you that it actually is carrier locked prior to um, going through this real quick, but let's see here. You can see it's not OEM unlocked. Um, this one is on Verizon software and might need to do just a couple like reboots to actually trigger the lock here. Okay, so we finally got it to relock here. Just wanna show you, um, again, this process is not going to change the OEM unlocking, so this is this is still gonna be grayed out, so you can't unlock the bootloader using this method, but you can unlock the device itself. So let's see here, let me just go back in here, show you again, latest update. Oops. There's my updates. So you can see we're on the latest um, June 5. Okay. So now let's go ahead and remove the SIM card. And this is going to stay out for a minute. So we'll just leave it like that. Okay, that, you know, SIM card is out, stays out, and we're gonna go ahead and do another uh, factory reset. And I'll be right back with you once this is done. Okay, so we're back up and running, and what we're gonna do is just go ahead and skip through the startup menu here. SIM card is still out. I'm gonna go into settings, go into apps, and then we wanna see all. You wanna open up the show system, and you can just type in set.
And then storage and cache, you can clear it. Wi-Fi data usage, go ahead and just turn that off. Now what we want to do is go into settings. About phone. And you want to click on the build number until we can en enable developer options there. Go ahead and swipe back. I'm going to go into developer options. And we're going to turn off um, automatic updates. You can update your device after you unlock it. You just have to follow the procedure of um, putting it in airplane mode. And then after the device reboots from an, um, an update, um, before you turn off airplane mode, go into um, the device setup app and just same thing, clear the cache and then you're, you're good to go. So updates are not a problem, but automatic updates, um, if you don't catch that, will potentially relock the device. And you wanna turn on USB debugging. After you do that, go ahead and plug it into your computer. And that's the pop-up we want. So go ahead and click always and allow that's gonna give us access to um, the phone in the computer. Now I'm going to focus more on the screen here, so give me a sec. Okay, so next step, going to our website. You can click on more, so you wanna to go to techie.com, T-E-Q-Q-E-E.com. -E -E go to more, go to ADB, click on minimal ADB that's going to start your download for this program right here um, if this helps you out and you want to leave us a, a little donation or get a gift card for purchase for a friend you can do that here as well just click on the gift card button we appreciate it okay so after you install the, the minimal ADB you can just extract it. And I'm gonna skip just because I already uh, have this on my computer. So once we open up, well, I guess I'll go through it with you guys. Okay, it's giving me a error because I already have it installed. So let me just pull it up. Okay. So when you first plugged in your phone, if you did not get the pop-up um, asking to allow, what you can do is type in ADB devices, and that's going to uh, you want to have your phone screen active and unlocked. So uh, once you click ADB devices, um, you won't see that yet. You won't see the actual device yet. So then you'll get that pop up on your phone. You click allow and OK. And then what you want ultimately is to see the device. So after you can see it, you can pr proceed to this um, next step here. And these uh, commands are going to be in the notes or the description of the, the video here. So what we're gonna do is just copy and paste. So, and there's five of them. Make sure not to um, copy and paste the numbers, of course, because if you do that, this is not going to work. Um, we'll have everything numbered in the description, but the commands start with ADB. Okay, so you just copy and paste. Uh, 
And last one. Okay. So after you get your five uh, commands done, you can close your EDB window there. And let's go back to the phone. And before we, let's see here, I'll re, uh, let me unplug the phone now. And I'm gonna readjust, give me one sec. Okay, so now we're back here. And before we do the, um, pop the SIM card in, let's do one more step. So what we wanna do is go ahead and connect to, let's connect it to the internet real fast. Okay, so now you're connected to the internet. Now what you wanna do is go back into apps and then see all. I'm gonna go back to show system and just type in set. And you wanna just turn that on, turn that off, yeah? It's for mobile data and Wi-Fi. After you do that last step, go ahead and pop in the SIM card. And this works for eSIM or physical SIM. So either way, you're good to go. After we connect a signal again here, I will do a test call. I'll reboot the phone. So you can reboot the phone. You can do whatever you want. Use it as normal. The only thing that will lock this device is either doing a factory reset or if you do a um, an update without putting it in airplane mode and then clearing the cache on the device setup app. Anything else you can do no problem, no worries. So we're back on T-Mobile here. Show you that it's working. Welcome to T-Mobile. Okay, so we're good there. Let me just do a restart. Show you that that works. We're back up. And again, this has been a tutorial for the latest June 5 Android 16 update. Hope this helps guys. Um, any questions, feel free to comment below. Appreciate it.